Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to determine the magnitude of, right now we have a directed line segment. And preferably, a lot of times, we like to find the component form of a vector. And to determine the component form of a vector, basically, what we're doing is taking p2 minus p1 comma q2 minus q1. And therefore, that's going to produce us v1 and v2, which we can plug into this formula. But notice what v1 is equal to that is really the same thing for the magnitude. But um, for this example, I want to at least show you how to find the component form so you at least know what to represent. So to do that, I first need to label my p1, p2, q1, q2 um, based on the initial and the terminal point. So I'll call this p1. This will be q1, p2, q2. So to determine my component form, which I'm going to have to use anyways, even if I plugged it into this formula is just simply going to be negative 2 minus 8, comma, 3 minus 6. So therefore, I have uh, negative 10, comma, negative 3. OK, so now what I need to do is go ahead and plug it into this formula, which is, again, the same as that one. So the magnitude of my vector v is going to be negative 10 squared plus negative 3 squared, which equals 100 plus 9, which equals the square root of 109. So now what I want to see is, all right, as far as my square numbers, do any of my square numbers um, evenly divide into 109? My square numbers being like uh, 4, 9, 16, 36, um, 49. And I end up none of my square terms. Um, are going to divide evenly into 109. So that is going to be my simplified magnitude. Thanks.